Welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on something very special. It's called a Band-Aid quilt and if you'd like to know more about the Band-Aid quilts and what they represent you can go to Kia B on YouTube. Uh, she's based out of Indiana uh, and the pattern with design was done by Elizabeth at Quilters Candy Box. Okay, I just want to make sure I got that straight. I did purchase the pattern. It only is $10 American. I think it was 13 something something with the change for Canadian. I, it's beautiful and I really like it and I think we should bring, we didn't really, uh, towards the end of our last live stream on last Saturday, uh, we kind of touched base, she popped in the channel but we were just saying goodbye because we'd already been off for about two and a half hours so I really wanted to make a little bit more recognition of what she's got going on so, <laughs> and apparently Mr. Clive does too. <laughs> All right, come here buddy, <laughs> just sit there. All right, so here is what the mini quilt looks like okay and isn't that darling now you can use uh, contrasting fabrics these don't have to match I really liked it to match mine has a, a slight bit of scrappy feel to it because I use two different types of band-aid fabrics all the hearts are the same all my backgrounds the same so I, I but I like the way it turned out so here's what one of them looks like and this is a great they say this is even a, 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 a quilt for a munchkin. I kind of would have put a little border around it though because it doesn't seem like it'd be big enough. But you know when they're only weighing you know half the size of a chicken or you know uh, you know half the size of a cat sort of thing you gotta you know what's gonna what's gonna cover them. Not a, You don't need a, a whole big quilt. So the one we've decided to build today here via the quilt shop is the biggest one in the pattern which is 53 by 67 and that is 12 band-aid blocks uh, put together. Okay. You got me all clipped oh, there. All right, so here's what four look like, right? Oh no, sorry, here's what eight looks like. Okay, so you can see how I've mixed it. <laughs> Mr. Clive's gonna go hide into there. So you can see how I've kind of mixed and matched the colors of the band-aids. I wanted this to be very gender neutral. Um, just in case it was older kid didn't matter, you know what I mean? I just, I just thought it didn't really matter which one this went to. So we will quilt it up here via the quilt shop and send it down to Kia Bees. Uh, and uh, we'll also make more for our children's charity up here as well in Canada. <laughs> Come here, Mr. McGoo. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> so isn't that beautiful? So we got a few more to finish off here, okay? So that's eight, and I've got nine, ten here, and then eleven, and we're going to build one more twelve. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's beautiful. She did a video on this, but I'm still doing it anyway, so you can see the whole quilt and bring more recognition to it. And I would happily, happily quilt this up and send it down. And if anybody of our Canadian friends would like to make a block, you can go watch her video. It's got all the details on the squares of what you need. Uh, not, it's not a lot of fabric. You could easily do this with a couple of fat quarters. And you mail them to me and we'll put a whole quilt together from all of our Canadian buddies. What do you think of that? All right, so here's our heart pieces. They are four by seven and a half, okay? And then in our heart pieces, we need an, a four by four, two of them, cut on an angle, I mean, sorry, drawn on an angle, I apologize, on the diagonal, okay. And the ch -ch -ch -ch, move this off to the side here. And then we need four one and three eighths. Mine are just a slightly bigger. I'm not sure how they all ended up that way, but I didn't really see the need to point to trim off a tiny little smidge. So I thought, whatever, maybe my hearts will be a little bit bigger. <laughs> I got a big heart. What can I say? <laughs> so we'll put these up in the corner. And then what we're going to do with these little tiny squares is so right here. So it helps form that little shape of the heart right here, okay? And we're building a half a heart at a time. And then these parts down here, the ones with the four by four on the diagonal, go down in the corner. And if you wanted to, you could sew an extra little uh, square off the side and you get a whole stack 
of this. So I think I'm going to put these together and put it as uh, maybe part of the pillowcase, maybe the back of the pillowcase. So they're not, you know, have, have a solid fabric up at the front here because I have a little bit more of this and I have a little bit more of these two. So I could probably mix them a little bit. But where are you, buddy? I, don't, I just didn't want to run over them. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm using my tray today. I found it very easy to just be able to slide things under and, and especially working with the extended pieces over there of the quilt. All right, so we're just gonna sew on the diagonal at the top of these. And I'm just gonna come to the end and do a little cut. And of course I can use my knee lift. I've been kind of using it off and on. I kind of forget it's there sometimes. <laughs> I need training. <laughs> I need newbie training. And then we're just gonna come down the opposite angle, kind of going this way, because we wanna form the heart, right? So we wanna do those, the curvatures of the outside edges of the heart. Okay, so we'll do that. I guess it could have just continued to fade. But now I wanna make sure I'm putting this, uh, the one with the angle, the angle on it right there, the diagonal. We're gonna put it, line it up, and make sure that when we go to do the other one, it's in the opposite direction, because we want it to make the, sh the shape of the heart, right? Okay. So just plop that there, line it up. And then cut, trim, whatever whatever you gotta do. With the little foot, and then just come over another <laughs> little bit. Mr. Magoo is trying to love my foot for some reason. <laughs> All right, now we will do the other corners of these ones. And it doesn't take very long to build this beautiful block out. You give yourself another 10, 10, 20 minutes and you mail it off to Kia B. She's got a P.O. box of um, 1287 Greenwood, Indiana, 46142. Um, what's the other one? 407 West Smith Valley Road. Okay, so it is Kia B quilting. Okay, so if you wanted to do that for you know, your homies there, have at her. They were more than willing to accept blocks and uh, quilt uh, finished tops and quilt tops, so I think. So. And if it wasn't for the postage, we'd have her send a whole bunch up here and I would whip them up like nobody's business on the long arm and um, they, we would have them done real fast, that's for sure, and send them back. But sometimes postage is just, it's really bad. It's, it's sometimes it's just really, really intense to be able to, you know, to, it, it seems like a lot. It seems like a lot. Okay, so once we trim those bits off, and of course this goes to the um, saving it pile. Oh, oh, there we go. And then we have a half a heart that we just have to press out, okay? So let's do that. Let's trim this one up. And all these tiny little bits, they didn't seem to be um, usable. Well, it's just because I don't trim that. You haven't sewed it yet. <laughs> all right, make sure it's the opposite of what I needed. Yes, it is. All right. And here, and of course we're gonna get that extra piece. It's a big enough chunk, so don't, don't waste the fabric. My bucket was overflowing. I've actually pressed and squared some of, the, of my bucket, my, my half square triangle bucket. And a lot of you have been hanging out with me for a couple years now. You know about my half square tri tri triangle bucket. <laughs> it was overflowing. I pressed and squared up a bunch. Well, let's say a few. <laughs> let's, let's say a bunch. You know how much I love squaring up. All right, so once we get these pressed, we'll make our little heart. So let's do that right now. Move our little four off to the side here so you can see it. It's beautiful. I love it. And these colors are very calming. Um, uh, some were donated to the quilt shop and some are my own stash. So I just kind of mixed them together and I thought, well, what a way to make a lovely little charity quilt for the Band-Aid um, Project Peanut. So, all right, and then once we put those two together, got ourselves a little hot. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I know, goofy, but that's us. Now we'll just put that down. Okay, now when I'm up here, I just want to make sure I'm getting my other bits over here, which we want to put on the these, uh, these outside parts of the Band-Aid, which kind of... That's where the, you know, the sticky bits is. Uh, we want to put these little triangles in the corner. Okay. So it didn't really matter to me whether I had them going this way or that way. I just kind of tried to keep them both the same. And then just line them up. 
And of course you can mark these on the diagonal if you so wish it. I was winging it like I normally do. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna put that row together and then we'll put that to the, to the the finished row and that finished row to the four. And then we're good to go. All right, now she did say, and I should pay attention here because she, that to try and match up that little seam right there for where at the beginning of the heart, where it really defines the, the heart going from one section to the other, the very center of it. So try and line that up. Put a pin if you need to or want to. It's all up to you. Sorry about the hardware issue. Um, we're, we're hoping. I'm just I'm still shooting the video so I don't know when you're gonna see this I just hope it's soon um, and I'm so glad to say goodbye to February you have no idea <laughs> it's been a very rough month for a very short month it's been very very long and very very strenuous and very yeah very everything <laughs> all right now we're just gonna Line this up here. I know a lot of you have lasers. You got lasers that can, you know, shoot cross all techy like. So you can use your laser if you wanted. And I just cut these bits off too. I, I wasn't keeping these. And of course, those get flipped out and they're the outside of the band aid. Isn't that awesome? Beautiful pattern. Good job, Elizabeth. Mm hmm. Yeah, so check her out. You can easily go, to the, if you check out the Kia B, I'm sure Pop will put the links down below as well, uh, if I get them to them correctly. Um, if not, you can always go check out Kia B on YouTube and in her band, or check out Band-Aid Quilts. I'm sure she'll pop up. Uh, and uh, I think she's the creator of them. Um, and uh, you can always help out via there too as well. So. And of course, if anybody of our Canadian friends wanted to mail us a block or otherwise, you know where we are. P.O. Box 367, Hillsburg, Ontario, Canada. And happy, happy to take, I mean, look what we've done with some of the stuff that's been sent to the shop already. Look, we're making charity quilts. Yay. We've made quilts of valor. We've had lots of stuff. All right, so now I'm going to give this all a press. Okay. And then we'll sew it together to make the band-aid that you can see. Okay. Oh, that was pretty hard. Good job. There we go. There, Patty. There we go. And then we'll lay that out. And lay that out. And lay that out. And we have ourselves an adorable little heart band-aid. Lovely. Okay, and then we'll finish it up. So just flip this over. And you can pin them, just kind of lining it up. Make sure you shift it. Alright, and then we'll add the next little piece. Okay, right here. There we go. Isn't that lovely? That's so pretty. I was like, oh, I had, I wasn't sure if I had enough of this to do the uh, outer part. And I thought, okay, well, I knew I had the plaid. So how, and then I'm like, oh, well, these kind of fabrics kind of look like band-aids. I mean, you know, if band-aids were really cool, <laughs> really cool looking band-aids. Instead of just the plasters. And then we'll give that a quick little press just to set them. Okay. And now we're going to attach it to what we need to for this one. But we need to make sure it's in the sequence because I had them uh, six of one and six of another. So I needed to make sure I was putting them in the sequence. Of course, I'm working from the bottom up because that's how we like to build construction <laughs> from the bottom up. And then this one should be going. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that would be that position. So I need to have the one with a little bit of red, this one here as the first. And then we've already got the middle piece. And then here on the end, okay. Mark that on the end. We'll put a pin there just so we can get it all sewn together. 
Okay. And then bring this back. Because that's that gets attached to that. And then we're going to attach one to here. I've already pre-cut these. Hoping I had enough. I could do. Not sure we'll soon find out. <laughs> I'm sure we'll soon find out. It's always something when you think you've cut everything and then you're like, okay, well, I don't, I'm missing like a block or two blocks for some reason. <clears throat> it happens. Do -do. All right, isn't that look good? There's two of them together. Boop, 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 boop. Beautiful. All right, so let's just give that just a wee little heat. Okay. Now, uh, that one went on top, and then we want to put this, the bottom, on here. So we're just going to line it up. And I just pre-cut them because it did say uh, to cut whatever you needed to. So, and I just pinned it. And I try to sew on the piece side so the bottom is nice and smooth as it goes, it goes down. And just make the sure. Shouldn't need too much trimming. Oh, did I not cut that one? Oh, I'm missing one off the end. So, whoa, I was like, wait a second here. <laughs> I'm missing a little square off the end. <laughs> it's okay, we got it. We got it. It's like, that is too long. What's going on here? <laughs> Line that back up again. <laughs> we, just, we just missed a piece. That's okay. Thank goodness. We wouldn't have matched up otherwise. I would hate to have tried to cut it and realized I didn't need to cut it. That would have been cry moment. <laughs> Big old alligator tears moment. Mm -hmm. All right. There. And over here. Okay, perfect. Now sew this down. Oops. Just line things up. Hopefully everybody had a great week. Sorry about the non-Wednesday video. Like I said, I'm not sure when you're gonna get this as um, we weren't quite exactly sure when the hardware was going to arrive. But we appreciate your patience. And like I said, we've just had, really just uh, one of those Februarys. You know what I mean? <laughs> but we're smiling. <laughs> oh, we're smiling. If you smile along with us too. We'll be smiling. All right, there we go. Now we'll just make sure all of our pins are out. We're gonna have to put them in at the top. There we go, that's the one we just made. And then we're gonna give it a little press before we attach it to this one here, okay? And of course, I'm just gonna try and press all the seams over to the center for where the sashing is or the yeah, I guess it's just thick sashing. It's four inches. Four inches thick. And this makes the biggest one. The biggest uh, band-aid quilt that they had for the pattern under um, the Elizabeth's uh, pattern. Okay. So now we're just going to put that up there. Make sure we kept with the whole sequence of... Two two. I mean, you could do this as a rainbow, very much a scrappy fashion. You could have it so the fabric behind the heart is contrasting. Um, Kia was putting a very special uh, one red heart in the lower corner of every one of her quilts. And of course, I don't want to copy that. So that's that's her thing. And that's, you know, what she um, she she's known by for that, that project because it's obviously got a very special... Um, 
place in her heart for her youngest son. So uh, I didn't want to do that. So I just wanted to make, you know, make a nice pretty one, um, hopefully, and, and then mail it off to her once it's all finished. Okay, there we go. So pin that, sew it. And of course we can add the top on, but I'll show you once we get the, all the six of them together, you can see what it looks like. Smashing, absolutely smashing. And hopefully I can get this quilted up this weekend and get it mailed out by uh, early next week. That would be awesome. And we're all part of the same quilting community that just everybody lo loves to make quilts and do fun stuff with fabric and teach and, and learn and educate. Educate. I didn't know what her son was suffering from, from the early stages of his life was, was, it was even a thing. So education is the key. I like how it's called Project Peanut. <laughs> Project Peanut. It's just cute, it's cute. There's that attached. That's just one of the rows. Let me just make sure we got all our pins out. Do, do, do. There we go. Isn't that lovely? Oh, yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so let's put, I think this should be our last one on. Yeah, let's put the top on, and then we'll attach it to the four, the four pack there, and then that will be our quilt top done. 53 by 67. So I didn't just want to do the minimal, so I want to do the maximum <laughs> because we can, because we can. And she's got lots of good quilt projects on her uh, YouTube channel itself. She does lots of uh, unboxing. That's actually how I got to, to know about her in the first place. Um, she, she was doing all sorts of fun unboxings. So I was, you know, and because she's from uh, the States as well, and we're up here, so I knew it would be easier for her to get the project, projects. And, and um, so to see what was in the box. What was all these boxes that people were making? I wanted to know. What's in the box? And she's popped by our live streams a few times. It's been nice to be able to hang out and chat and get to know her and Tech Guy. And a lot of our fans really like her and love her too and, and, and want to help with her project. So I thought this would be a great way to bring a little bit of, you know, of knowledge to it. Here's hoping. All we can do is try. Try, try, try. All we can do is try. All right, there looks like there's getting a little bit of a pucker there. Let's take the pin out, loosen up the fabric. There we go, very nice. Little fold there gone. Almost to the end, and then we'll put the two pieces that we have here together, and you will see this very cute quilt top. are okay. You know. All right. Okay. And of course, we can press that. Let's give that a little press before we add it to the four. Okay. And of course, if you had, you know, you really only need uh, three fabrics. One for the band-aid, one for the heart, and one for the background. So if you had, you know, maybe some um, interesting fabric you're not sure what to do with, you know, pair it with a couple of other colors and it'll be amazing how it's going to stand out in its own little entity. You know, you give it something, give it a new life. And a great way to bust scraps too. I, it's not any sort of, maybe a, um, layer cake friendly maybe? I don't know, it's lots of four inches and seven and a half, so. I'm not sure. All right, so now I'm going to take those two pieces and put them together. Okay, just lining them up. What, you come back for more trouble, Mr. Magoo? Okay. 
Okay, and what I'm trying to do is kind of visually make sure like the top of that heart is meeting the bottom of that heart in a somewhat lined up fashion. <laughs> and hopefully it won't be too bad. Okay. What you doing there, buddy? For causing trouble, I tell ya, Mr. Magoo. Feedy, fighty, foody, foo. He's Mr. Magoo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> All right, let's get this last one sewn on. And really, to make this big one, it only took a few hours, you know, say, you know, three, four, five, six, maybe. <laughs> Between finding the fabrics, cutting the fabrics, sewing them, and get, getting them to the process of where uh, I would let, I wanted to film so you can see a finished one and not just a block. Um, uh, so, because Kia, Kia did, the, did, the blo did the block, so, and the mini quilt. I thought, let's show the big one and show that, you know, we, we as the quilt shop, we went and bought the pattern to help support the whole um, plan behind it, right, behind the whole band-aid quilt. Do, do, line that up. Let's get a little close. Oh, it's nice to have that done. All right, now let's give that a little press. Hopefully I didn't make any messes up. And then I'll show you this beautiful quilt top. And if you guys do any and send them off to QB, please post them to our mom and pop quilt shop mafia page on Facebook. Yeah, you, know, you don't, it's, we're not any like major gangsters or anything like that. Just answer three little simple questions to make sure you're not a robot so you can hang out with, you know, it's, we're like the online quilt guild. And we just encourage and help and you can share pictures of what you're working on or your shop or your fur babies, whatever. We love it. We love it, love it, love it. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I really like it. I really like it. Hopefully, hopefully you like it too, Kibi. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody for liking, watching, and subscribing. We really appreciate it. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we will see you tomorrow on the live stream when we're going to finish up the um, Dresden flower patch. I did find an Alstroemeria uh, flower to um, in place of the tulip, so I'm very excited about that. Okay, so we'll still be doing that. All right, take care, everybody. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.